I did, I did watch a little bit of it, and they seem, I, I, I don't know if I'm wrong, I may be wrong, but they seem incredibly thick. Yeah. <laughs> they say, I mean, it's like they could have gone to Argos with a net and just thrown it. <laughs> there were 12 people all the way. And they actually go through a selection process, don't they? <laughs> what is the selection process? It's just someone saying, are you stupid? <laughs> no, are you really stupid? I think it's either, have you got tits, or do you like tits? Yeah. <laughs> well, there's a big debate about uh, whether, whether the NHS should fund uh, alternative therapies. Crystals and uh, healing massages, or sort of, I don't know what they do. I don't know what that is. But, uh, <laughs> what I know is if I'm in an accident, I want to hear a siren, not wind chimes. <laughs> It's very easy to hunt ducks in this country because if you think most of them are fed on bread, aren't they? So they're all heavily constipated. <laughs> There's a duck in my local park, honestly, he's like a space hopper. He's just a bit of beef. Like that. And he's just more, he's like, ah, ah. He can't get over to Duck You're Island. Do you know where they live in the middle of the pond? They live on Duck Island. Is that what he's called? He lives on Duck Island. All the ducks. <laughs> in a fairy tale. Oh, every park has got a pond, doesn't it? And there's an island in the middle of it where all the ducks live and the humans oh. aren't allowed there. We handed it over to the ducks in about 1826. Yeah. <laughs> Ducks have all their own laws. They can hang ducks there and everything they want. <laughs> have, you ever been, have, you ever, have you had a real good look in the Duck Island? It's disgusting what goes on there. They're like animals. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but a lot of ducks are heavily constipated. That's not exactly what I have on the oh, car. Oh, really? <laughs> I don't think people realise how open some of these prisons are. Because I'm currently doing four years for fraud. <laughs> It's that easy. I, think, I don't watch Big Brother, but I can see why people do watch it. Because it's like, it's like having pets that you don't have to feed. Isn't it? <laughs> You've got all these pets, you watch them, but you don't ever have to really do much to them. You just turn them on, they're there, running around. You know when you're a kid? When I was a kid, I had a bucket of snails. <laughs> Did you have a bucket of snails? You had a very different life to me. Yeah. <laughs> you had a bucket of snails and you've never read Heat magazine. <laughs> <laughs> I used to lift, lift the lid off, and then all the snails would be there. And I sometimes I used to take one of them out for a ride, just put them on the crossbar and just go out for a ride. <laughs> that must have freaked your snail out on your crossbar or bike, like, fucking hell! <laughs> Good job I've got a crash on me, <laughs> <laughs> Weird thing happened one day, because one day I was, I was watching them, and they all turned. Suddenly there was this moment, they were all staring at me with their gl the glistening little prongs. They're all of them, 36 of them, staring yeah. at me. And then I sort of shiver, went, ooh. And then one of them moved, another one moved, and I realised it was just coincidence. <laughs> <laughs> I've already done it. I swam the channel. I'm not paying those ferry prices. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't have a you know, boat or a support or backup or any photos. No one believes me. <laughs> What's the point anyway? You can't carry the booze back, can you, while you're swimming? Yeah, no, I was pushing a suitcase in front of me all the way. <laughs> <laughs> get a wrong number, I don't let on that it's a wrong number. I like doing that. So when someone phones up and they says, like, is Mandy there? I go, oh, hold on a minute. Then I put the phone on the side and I shout to my voice, Mandy! Get up the stairs! Mandy! You stupid cow! Get up now! <laughs> and they go back to the phone and go, she's just coming. <laughs> I had a very embarrassing thing. I was in a restaurant once. I was on my own. And um, there's two women. Kept, this true, they kept looking across at me. Kept looking across. And after a while, about four or five times, I went, hi, like that. And they went... <laughs> they went, huh. And then I looked round, I realised there was a menu board above my head. horrible. No, I wouldn't fancy that. I wouldn't want to sleep in a sort of dormitory arrangement with <laughs> who knows who next to you. There's no <laughs> fucking chance of running me <laughs> You might, be, you might be innocently eating your Kit Kat right. and, uh, <laughs> and find a ticket, although whether or not you could manage four fingers is anyone's guess. <laughs> I feel I'm violated by a pun. <laughs> I'd love her. I'd love her to get to 80 and just get leathered. Show her ass or something. Yeah. See her kind of <laughs> holding the bar up, down in Zambuca shots. All she'll probably do is uh, say, thank you very much, have a cup of tea, Go out the back and strangle a pheasant. <laughs> That's what she enjoys. Yeah. <laughs> I love that picture of her just finishing off a pheasant. Just going, yeah. be great. Just looking around, makes nobody's looking at. <laughs> oh, I just don't know. Apparently, her excuse for it, she said, was he put it out of its misery. I thought they were quite happy living in the woods. <laughs> <laughs> Philip says he's going out the back choking a pheasant means something completely different. <laughs>
Sean, have you got any birthday message for the Queen? I think she's totally unnecessary. You know, we don't, what do we need a Queen for? <laughs> Bees have a queen, for Christ's sake. <laughs> we don't need a queen. We're far more sophisticated than bees. And anyway, they get to shag their queen. We don't need any of us. Have you I, sent I, a birthday I'm... message before? <laughs> 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 Let's have a look and see if it's one of the biggest stories of the week. <laughs> what else have the nation been talking about this week? They've been talking about, which, well, the front page of every paper I've seen, is the soft sentencing by oh. judges. The naming, uh, the son has been naming and shaming judges, and they're showing pictures of judges, which I don't think is going to work because you know because they've all got 17th century wigs on. <laughs> they're not going to get a lot of hassle in the street. In fact, the only time they're going to get recognised is if you're facing them in court, and you're hardly likely to go, "You're that soft judge who gives out all those really lenient sentences." <laughs> and I think you're doing a great job. <laughs> what what happens to all the crazy judges? With all the mad judges just go like 30 years. <laughs> Send them it has, down. It hasn't started, haven't even started yet, Your Honour. 10 years, <laughs> shut up. <laughs> I used to 50 like... years, <laughs> who wants it? <laughs> mad judges. Wow, wow, wow. Can we have a look and see if judges is one of the most talked about things? Yeah. yeah. Have you? What, have I ever done anything to impress your... women? Watch <laughs> loose women. <laughs> yeah. 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 I think the best way to impress women is take it to a car boot sale. Do anything you want. <laughs> <laughs> you silver tongue gift. That, that glove, have it. <laughs> There's a dashboard from a Vauxhall Viva there. Take it away, it's yours. <laughs> I don't think there's anything better that reminds me of summer than setting light to a barn. <laughs> and then standing back, admired my handiwork from a safe distance while the farmer ran around frantically with buckets of water. It's somewhere you don't have to go. What do you think? Is it put their record collection in a, you know, a weird order, like, or the fatness of the singer? <laughs> They've got meatloaf at one end, Prince at the other end. So Elton John moves up and down all the time. <laughs> at the other end, you've got your Danny Minogue. It's not that most blokes would have one of hers in the record collection, but I don't know. Is What's it that? wrong with Danny Minogue? <laughs> you said that like you're in a sort of East End comedy. What's wrong with Danny yeah. Minogue? <laughs> You've got a problem with Danny? You come to me. Yeah. <laughs> I had a genuine nightmare once, uh, it was quite recently, and it, it was with Sven Joran Eriksson, it's the night before the World Cup final, and he calls me in, calls me into his office and he says, I'm picking you for the England team. Yeah, and I'm going, no, 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 I'm shit, don't pick me, I'm useless. I said, I'm not even in the team. He says, you are now, I've had a word with FIFA, he said, I've told all the players just to keep passing to you. <laughs> no, no, I'm, I'm useless. And he's going, no, trust me, and I go out of the room, all the players are going, Wanker, piss off. <laughs> I'll pass to you. And, I've had to and then I look in the mirror and I'm Peter Crouch. <laughs> <laughs> I was a bit puzzled that Camilla only cost the taxpayer 2,000 quid. I wouldn't pay more for her. <laughs> it's a lot of hay, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Is the man's name Warren Buffett? Warren Buffet. <laughs> Is, uh, where he made his money, he invented the buffet in the <laughs> and he gets a percentage on every buffet that's ever held. Mm. Well, some would say it was, bought, it was invented by Laszlo Smorgasbord. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but he never patented it. <laughs> I like the idea of, of, of what sort of thank you he expected. Because you had someone that much money, you expect pretty big thank you, don't you? You expect someone to go, oh, oh, thank you. <laughs> Bill Gates went, oh, cheers, I'll just leave it. How long did it take him to put it in the head of one of them orphans at a service station? He <laughs> <laughs> used two pound coins. <laughs> not a real orphan, obviously. No, not a real orphan. <laughs> well, you know, who are they going to tell? <laughs> He's in the paedophile in the loft. <laughs> <laughs> we need the rent. <laughs> he comes down at night. He's all right. <laughs> is it that, sir? No, it isn't that. Is it that, Mr Carr? <laughs> that I was once in a museum in Florence, which is the archaeological museum. It's got this amazing male torso, great big muscly thing. And I thought that the guard wasn't there when I was there. And I hopped up on the plinth and had a rub up against it in my silk dress. And then I realised that the guard was hiding behind another sculpture because lots of girls were doing that and he was getting off on it, yeah. hiding in the I know corner. why he was hiding. <laughs> <laughs> so it's probably... 
What I like to do is like to heckle the uh, guided tours. <laughs> He's lying. Pharaohs, they're from Ireland. <laughs> Come on, have a proper guess then. Seven percent of museum visitors have what? I've wondered what it was like in the olden days. <laughs> <laughs> The millionaires are worried about what? Robin Hood and his merry men. <laughs> he, he can do a bit of deal. Can he? Yeah. I bet his shed's fantastic. His shed is great. He's got an amazing shed in the garden. <laughs> yeah. With a combination lock on there, a drawbridge. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, in the shed, he's got a gun turret. <laughs> oh! I'm in the shed! Yeah, just stuff! <laughs> about restaurants. I went to a restaurant and the waitress was on crutches. <laughs> and she brought the bread rolls in her mouth. Just going to go and get the soup. 50% of Brits think what is a good way to protect your home? Pebble dash it. <laughs> Everyone thinks you're skint. <laughs> you have a few porcelain animals in there. A clock with Elvis on it or something like that. <laughs> you just have shit in your house. <laughs> I've got a <laughs> clock with Elvis on it. What's wrong with that? Because it's... <laughs> it's usually a mirror as well, and I don't like it when they... you got a mirror. <laughs> you obviously like Elvis. Well, you look a bit like uh -huh, him. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Well, it makes sense, because yeah. you're, you're him and you're like a double. <laughs> <laughs> Most depressing thing about getting older? Tutting at things. Just in... I tatted at a squirrel the other day. <laughs> What the squirrel done? He tried to make a leap from, like... It was really silly. He was never going to do it. There was two trees and the branches <laughs> were, were so far apart. And he went up there and I thought, he's not going to try and do that, is he? <laughs> and he tried it and went... <laughs> <laughs> Most annoying thing about supermarkets... Is it the veg on entry? Never understood that. Why do they put the vegetables, all the vegetables and the fruit, first to go in? You haven't bought your meat or your fish yet, so you don't know what you're going to have with it, do you? <laughs> you kind of have to guess what meat they might have <laughs> by the appropriate vegetables to suit that meal that you don't even know you're going to have yet. you just got to <laughs> just dream, hope, for God's sake, they've got chops. Because I've bought potatoes and I've bought some broccoli, and that goes with chops. If you've got no chops, I've got to go all the way back there. <laughs> word for word. Yeah. <laughs> Most common audition piece at Big Brother auditions. I didn't realise they had auditions. I thought like a dog catcher went out. And <laughs> <laughs> so who was barking, barking on the set? No, oh, no, no! Get in, man! You're in, Big Brother. <laughs> Is it something from Hamlet? <laughs> what the blowjob scene? 